see that. Cell phones have become a part of practically everyone's daily lives. We use them to communicate with our loved ones, to do business, to make deposits in banks, and so on. But how much attention paid to these devices is too much? When we ignore our daily obligations, when we forget to appreciate the beauty of the world around us, how about when it costs someone their life and scars a family forever? Does that not draw a line on the uses of these devices? We face a problem in our society today, and that problem is texting while driving. And today I'm going to attempt to persuade you all to stop texting while you drive. I'm credible for this particular topic because I do not text while I drive. I don't even talk on the phone while I drive. I understand the importance of watching the road around me, not to mention I've done ample research on this particular subject. And this is relevant to you because I have faith that most of you drive, I have faith that most of you text, and I also have faith that most of you probably text while you drive. It's not uncommon. But the point that I'm trying to drive here is that you all are out on the road or you know somebody that is out there on the road. And so it's really important for you all to pay attention to what I have to say today because it could really affect you. So in order for me to persuade you all to stop texting while you drive, it's important to understand the problems associated with this behavior the causes of this behavior and some solutions that we can implement to keep this from happening. So first, I'm going to talk about the problems associated with texting while driving. Okay, I'm on. There we go. So texting while driving is making driving extremely dangerous. There are too many problems associated with this behavior. The first one, as you all could probably guess, is car crashes. In a 2014 article from the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, it said that 11% of drivers aged 18 to 20 who were in a car crash and survived a minute they were sending or receiving text messages when they were driving. The article went on to say that 40% of American teens say that they have been in a vehicle when somebody has used a cell phone in a way that has made it dangerous for them or everyone else around them. And just to provide some more perspective into the dangers of this, the same FCC article went on to say as well that text messaging actually creates a, a crash risk 23 times worse than as if you weren't, as if driving isn't dangerous enough on its own. Now the second problem associated with this behavior is actually the result of the first problem, and it's that fatalities are actually occurring. An April 2014 article from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that in 2012 alone, 3,328 people were killed and 421,000 people were injured as a result of distracted driving. Now these are just numbers I'm putting up here on the screen, but remember these are people being killed, these are people being injured, people are being devastated because of this behavior. So just to bring us a bit closer to the heart, I want to talk with you all about a July 2013 article from NBC which spoke of an 8 month year old girl in New Jersey who was killed in her stroller by a distracted driver. What happened, there was a bus driver, they were on their cell phone and they got distracted. They crashed into two cars. One of the cars crashed into a light pole which actually fell onto the child. The child was in no way in any sort of contact with the vehicle. So this really can affect people. I want everybody to take what I'm telling them seriously. Don't just blow this off. People are dying because of this behavior. Now this isn't the same child from the story that I mentioned before, but this is just an example as to what can happen. Imagine if this was your child up here. Would you care if somebody didn't mean for this to happen? I wouldn't. And I can almost guarantee if the, if the justice system is honest, they won't care either. So now that I've discussed the problems with this behavior, let's take a look at some of the causes behind it. And the causes are very simple in nature. There are two main causes behind uh, texting while driving. And the first one is that people think they're really great at multitasking. A November 2014 article from CBS said that more than 25% of the texting drivers they surveyed said that they believe they can do several things at once, even while driving. And the truth is, you can multitask. You all have probably heard people say, oh, I'm such a great multitasker. I can totally do multiple things at once and get them done effectively. The fact of the matter is, though, is you can't do that. Because according to a, 2012, a March 2012 study by Experimental Economics, it was, it was uh, found that people who were forced to multitask actually performed far worse than people who worked in a more sequential pattern, which essentially means doing one thing at a time, which is what your brain is wired to do. Now, the second cause of this behavior is just sheer willfulness. The same CBS article said that 98% of the drivers they surveyed are aware of the dangers of texting while driving, yet three-fourths of them admitted to actually doing it. We all like the idea of being able to do what we want, but you know what? Responsibility does not constitute all of our wants and desires. And just to kind of put some more context into why some people actually do this and the ridiculousness behind it, CBS, the CBS article also said that 28% of the people they surveyed said that they're afraid that they're going to miss out on something important if they don't check their cell phones right away when they're driving. I personally don't think that's justifiable. 
So now that I have talked about some of the causes behind this behavior, let's take a look at some solutions that we can implement to keep this sort of behavior from happening. There. And there are many simple, easy to apply solutions to this problem. And I just want to discuss four. The first solution, according to the Stop Tech Stop Rex organization, is you can have a designator in the, in the car with you. A designated texter. This essentially means you have somebody in the car with you that can respond to your texts for you or read them for you, so you're not getting distracted while you're on the road. The second solution, according to the same group, is that you can just put your phone on silent. After all, if you can't hear a text message coming in, you're going to be far less likely to look at it. The third solution is that you can raise awareness. Tell people what I've told you today. You really can make a difference and prevent the loss or devastation of a life. And the fourth solution, which is the all-encompassing thing to my speech, is just to simply not text while you drive. This should be common sense, especially after what I've communicated to you today. We all have our reasons why we may do it, but I want you each to ask yourself this question. Is it justifiable for me to put other people in danger for my own personal reasons? Put that in any situation you want to. If you think about it hard enough, you'll probably come up with the same conclusion that I did. So in summary today, I just want to say that I have communicated to you all. Oh no. Uh, I've communicated to you all the, problem, the, the problems of texting while driving, the causes of this particular behavior, and some solutions that we can implement to keep this from happening. So the next time you're driving and your text messages come in, do yourself and everyone around you a favor and just don't look at it. Better yet, prevent someone else from doing the same thing. As I said before, you really can't make a difference in someone's life or prevent the loss or devastation of one.